Hi, this is Ruth Schmuff. Today I'm going to show you how to wrap a plastic ring for use in needlepoint. These are great for wheels on trains, for centers of flowers, just for anything that's round and you want to give it some depth and dimension. So these are just different size plastic drapery rings. Um, you can also use washers, you can use rubber rings, anything that's round. And all you're going to do is take a long length of thread. So this is a wingspan. And start out by tying it on to the ring. So nothing fancy, just a half a knot, leave an eight inch tail, roughly, because you need to thread it later. So once you have it tied on, all you're gonna do is bring your needle up in the center of the ring and then through the loop. Tighten it up to the ring. And it makes this nice little knotted edge up in the center through the loop. Keep doing that with every stitch, squish them together. You don't want to see any of your ring showing. If you are using contrasting colors like I am, where the color of your thread is significantly different than the plastic ring, you could consider painting the ring either with nail polish or simply color it out with a magic marker. So you just keep going around and around and see how it makes this nice little knotted edge super cute. You want to cut your original length of thread long enough that you don't have to add more. Now you can add more. It's just fussy. And I know you don't like fussy. So you go all the way around doing this, up through the center, through the loop, up through the center, through the loop, until you reach the other end. When you reach the other end, pretend this is done, you're going to slide your needle through your stitches to end it off, cut your thread, take the short end, thread that in a needle, and do the same thing. So now you're going to have a completely covered ring. You can take this lay it on your needlepoint canvas and take some tiny stitches through that knotted edge or over the edge of the ring, wherever you wanna put them, where they're hidden and you'll sew it onto your canvas. Super easy, right? So that's how it's done. Just remember up through the middle and then through the loop, up through the middle, through the loop and you can do it. Have fun.